Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got a video here I want to show you by using my external camera. And it's got Steve Quayle in it talking with some guy I don't know. But it's only a short video. I want you to take a listen. It's called Super Soldiers Weaponized with Raphaim Fallen Angel DNA Part 4. And down here it says, if you can't see it, as it was in the days of Noah. Matthew 24, 37 through 39. All right, let me minimize this just for a second so I can show you. This is, it's called Fallen Angels DNA Part 4 on Fire Faith Ministries. That's Brother Max. Okay, so let me pull this back up and enlarge it and we'll hit play. Point where Jesus said, if the days weren't shortened for the elect's sake, there'd be no flesh left alive. And the genetic tampering, the genetic destruction, the designs of the Luciferian globalists to destroy every human being on the planet, to insert their new creation, that we'll call them uh, the Uberman, uh, Nietzsche's statement, the Superman, what it's going to be is a super slaughter. And by giving people the correct information by literally telling them what the end of the book is, how this plays out in history. My goal is to take away all fear and show them that the truth will make them free as long as they abide in the word of the Lord and the word of the Lord abides in them. Too many people are making too many excuses for the living God, and I'm looking for that time when the people of God will stand up, when the people of God will not take the back seat to the skeptic, who's the only agenda he has is what he's being paid to say. In other words, rather than looking for the giants that were, we're looking for the giants that are. But the times of Noah, isn't it interesting? The times of Noah, and now we got all this interest in giants? Hello, I don't think God could give a bigger neon sign than if he wrote it in the sky, and I'm not, I'm not taking liberty, but even as everything is lining up, we are in the days of Noah. In the Noah days, there were giants in the land. And now we're having Hollywood just come out with movie after movie after movie, trying to denigrate biblical uh, Moses, it doesn't matter if it's Noah, trying to distort true history so they can insert their own history. For instance, in the movie Noah, the fallen angels are the good guys, and Noah's the bad guy. No, they're called the Watchers, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're called the Watchers. It will help you to understand the headlines, the movies, and the ultimate plan and scheme for your destruction. But the good news is, Jesus said he never leave us nor forsake us. And I believe that, Tim, we're at that time in history now. We're in the days of Noah, and everything that preceded Noah building the ark, and the judgment of Almighty God on this earth that was in rebellion is about to be relived. And that's the end of that, and I hope you enjoyed that little, uh, oh, oh, that's, uh, prediction has, <laughs> that's another video Point. I'm not going to share. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. God bless each and every one of you. I hope to see you soon. Now, let me get this cut off.